everybody, it's your boy Brickhouse here, and man, it is getting spicy. The war of words between Jimmy Kimmel and Aaron Rodgers. After the comment that Aaron Rodgers made last week about Jimmy Kimmel's name in the Epstein list, which ruffled Jimmy's feathers. In fact, Jimmy's threatening to sue Aaron Rodgers. Whether that happens or not, that remains to be seen. Now we have last night... Jimmy Kimmel decides that um, he's going to take a couple shots at Aaron Rodgers. And I'm going to play this for you real quick here so you get an idea of what he said. Aaron Rodgers has a very high opinion of himself. Because he had success on the football field, he believes himself to be an extraordinary being. He genuinely thinks that because God gave him the ability to throw a ball, he's smarter than everyone else. The idea that his brain is just average is unfathomable to him. We learned during COVID, somehow he knows more about science than scientists. A guy who went to community college, then got into Cal on a football scholarship and didn't graduate, someone who never spent a minute studying the human body is an expert in the field of immunology. He just put on a, he put on a magic helmet and he, that G made him a genius. It's, Aaron got two A's on his report card. They were both in the word Aaron, okay? <laughs> Kimmel says what Rogers did. So that's Jimmy's response to the comments that uh, Aaron made last Tuesday on the Pat McAfee show. Now, to give you guys a little setup, a little background, this little tip for tat, comment for comment, joke for joke, whatever, whatever, is going back to a number of years ago during COVID, during the pandemic, Aaron Rodgers, in his, in his beliefs as it pertains to COVID, um, and, and Jimmy had a different opinion than what Aaron had. And uh, so now we... So now this is where we're at. So that's last night's uh, monologue of Jimmy Rip and Aaron Rodgers. Now, fast forward to today. It's Aaron Rodgers Tuesday. Of course, Jimmy, ha Jimmy has what he has to say last night. Well, now we have Aaron's response today. And I'm going to play that for you here real quick. And then unprompted, he comes out and says that I'm an overly concussed wacko. In my opinion, it seemed like because I believe that there was a list and that there were names on that. Right. So, you know, then we, we fast forward to this last week. Right. And I said that a lot of people and I'm quoting myself, here, a lot of people, including Jimmy Kimmel, are really hoping that doesn't come out. End quote. That's what I said. That's the entire quote. Okay. I was referring to the fact that if there is a list, which again, this hasn't come out yet. This was just a deposition, right? And there are names on it. Then that would be the second time that a soft brain junior college student, you know, wacko, anti-vax, anti-Semite, purveyor, spreader of misinformation, conspiracy theorist, MAGA, whatever other things have been said by him and other people in the media would be right twice. Now, let me just say that that, that is the truth, number one. Number two, I totally understand how serious an allegation of pedophilia would be. So for him to be upset about that, I get it. Did you watch the quote? Because that's exactly what I said. Verbatim what I said on the show. Okay. I'm not stupid enough, even though you think I'm an idiot and you made a lot of comments about my intelligence, but I'm not stupid enough to accuse you of that with absolutely zero evidence, uh, concrete evidence. It, that's ridiculous. So I'm glad, and I think we can agree on something, is that uh, one, those crimes are heinous, and two, I'm, I'm glad you're not on the list because those, those who are on the list, and this is what I think we can agree on, that at minimum, there should be an inquiry into uh, their involvement, especially if they went to the island. And at maximum, there should be um, an investigation into it. So 
I hope that you'll give the same type of energy to these heinous crimes when they do come out and the names do come out and, and there is an inquiry into it that you gave to uh, other subjects that I actually mentioned uh, that you spent a lot of time working on. So I'd like to put this uh, to bed. So there you have Aaron's response. Now, think what you will of Aaron Rodgers. I mean, I don't agree with everything he says. I don't agree with everything Jimmy Kimmel says. Anybody that agrees 100% with somebody, um, no matter what, is, is, is nothing more than worshiping that individual. And treating them like a like a deity, which isn't right. But the crux of it is, is that Aaron is very thoughtful and measured in his response. He's not cracking jokes, doing a monologue, and, and Pat McAfee, to his credit, said before before we got to that part of Aaron's little interview here said, Hey, you know what? The forum's yours. The platform's yours, but guess what, buddy? If I think you say something out of line or something's not true, I'm going to stop you. And guess what? Pat didn't stop him. And I know Pat would stop him. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys out there. What do you guys think about this little tip for tat between Jimmy Kimmel and Aaron Rodgers? Um, I think Jimmy goes for the personal attacks. Of course, he's a comedian. That's that's what he's supposed to do. I think Aaron has has been more cerebral, thoughtful, and measured in his response. Um, but I'll leave it up to you guys. Comment down below. Share share your opinion. Tell me what you think. While you're at it, take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss one of my videos. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. <music>